becomes more like you're floating along an autopilot with what feels right and good and resonates. And then you you flow with it and and you can still feel that peace and that calm and that joy, but but you don't have to try to analyze specific symbols. Like I went through a phase where, you know, it's like, oh, I, I forgot what day it was. I would just be so happy. I forgot what day it was. But then, in terms of, the Holy Spirit did say, take a piece of paper and write down these words, garbage tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this, was, this is how the Holy Spirit works. You know, okay, garbage tonight. Just put a little magnet by it. And, and when you get a prompt from me on Thursday, take that sign and stick it up on the refrigerator. And I'd say, oh, okay. It wasn't like, don't try to remember what day it is. Just take this sign, garbage tonight, which I put in black marker, and put it on the refrigerator on Thursday. Sometime on Thursday. It could be 8 o'clock in the morning when I'm having breakfast, or it could be in the middle of lunch, or whenever I was doing something and I had a moment, and the Holy Spirit would go, put your sign up. And I'd go, okay. But that's how loving the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is not trying to shake your world up. It's like, okay, it's important to get the garbage out. Let's show it. <laughs> Sometimes I did have a couple of heaps of <laughs> garbage, but, but this was a practical way. Uh, also, you start to realize, like, there was another time where I would be going through the day doing all these things, and at 11 11, you know, with these digital clocks on the microwave and around, Whatever I'd be doing, counseling, talking, whatever, writing an email, doing something, when it would be 11, 11 in the morning, my eyes would just turn to one of the digital clocks, and I would go, okay, <laughs> and then I'd go back to what I was doing. Then it would get one, one, one. <laughs> it would be like, again, the eyes would just turn. In the middle of the day, I could be doing anything. I could be in a car. The eyes, I'd be driving, looking at something. I'd look down at the little the digital clock on the, the dashboard. I mean, it started happening all the time, and I was just like, what, do I have to make something of this? I was no. Say, did you analyze no, that? I didn't. I just was like, well, oh, thank you. I'm like, right. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> you know, it was like, it was just like a nice little symbol. Then, about, about maybe, I don't know, 12 years ago or so, 12 or 15 years ago, I mean, I just was doing experiments with telepathy. Like, uh, I took a trip. I was guided with my girlfriend, who was into the course at the time, Jamie, and uh, we were. I was guided to take a trip with her across the United States by car. So we're in Cincinnati, and we're like, okay. And I said, okay, Holy Spirit, is there any guidance? And the Holy Spirit said, yes. I am the destination, and I will tell you the direction. Okay, that's an interesting guidance to get from the Holy Spirit. As you're in Cincinnati with your girlfriend, you're getting ready to take off on I-70 across. So we hop in the car, we're driving, driving. We decide, well, let's have fun with this trip. Um, let's work on our telepathy. Uh, we both like ice cream. So we decided to stop at all the Dairy Queens <laughs> across the, the trip as we went to the United States. So we would hop at the Dairy Queens and she would say, okay, this time I'm going to go in and think of what I want and you order it. And then the next Dairy Queen, you think of what you want, and I'll order it. And so we did this at all the Dairy Queens. This is how you train your mind with the Holy Spirit and have fun. Uh, all the Dairy Queens along the way, and we went out, and we got all the way out to Kansas, and uh, we were out there at a Dairy Queen, and, and we went, and we, it was a long drive. You know, Kansas is a big state, we've been driving for a long time. So we found, got off the highway, went to a motel, and then the next morning, got up, and we had been talking about all of our hypotheticals. Let's go to Colorado. Oh, let's go to California. Oh, the beaches of California, blah, 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 blah. We get to Kansas. We, we're in this motel. We wake up in the morning, and I'm just sitting there, and the Holy Spirit says, Okay, now I want you to go east. We've just driven for days west on this highway, and the Holy Spirit said, go east. And I'm like thinking, well, I do remember what the original guidance was <laughs> at the beginning. I am the destination, and I will tell you the direction. So I was kind of like, so I thought, okay, I think I'm hearing from you, go east. But I wasn't going to tell Janie 
<laughs> Nothing like losing your girlfriend over the Holy Spirit. Or something. Uh, <laughs> so I got the car. I said, okay, I'm going to give this back to you, this idea back to you. And if this is of you, please go east. So I said, still not going to tell her. And so I waited. I, I got in the car. We came back to the highway, you know, where you get to the branching of the road where you have to <laughs> which entry, which entry ramp you're going to go on and everything, and I'm still holding off everything. And so I'm like sitting there in the car, and we're at the stoplight. We're just right close to the intersection where we have to go on, and I'm just like, I just looked over to her and I said, are you hearing anything? Yeah. And she said, yes, I am. And I said, what are you hearing? And she said, go east. <laughs> Okay, boom. It was like the movie Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, you know, where the, the car, we were just like, woo! We were just so happy as if we just won the lottery or whatever. Laughing at all of our thoughts of Colorado. This this. I mean, that's what we, we call flexibility. Yeah. You know, because that's like, but, but we were given, it was a good context, you know, I am the destination, I will tell you the direction. So that's why you start to get clearer and clearer that, ah, what we're talking about here is listening and following is, is essential to joy and trying to analyze the symbols and figure them out is the ego's defense. I mean, we've all been taught to analyze the symbols. That's part of being a good, mature, functioning adult, citizen, or a human being. You know, we're taught to analyze. What is education except learning to discern between what is helpful and not helpful? If you talk about air education from parents, siblings, teachers, you know, they're trying to say, you know, my mother told me, you better shop over. You know, I mean, listen, we've been told a lot of different things from our, our conditioning, but that was part of the ego's learning. All education in this world is of the ego. Everything in this world is learned. In fact, Jesus says in the Course, in the text, you made this world by learning. You have overlearned a crazy world. You have made an impossible situation and you've overlearned it and reinforced it so much and so deeply and you never once stopped to ponder, why am I doing this? Not why am I doing this with a relationship or why am I doing this with, with a household or with a book or anything. Why am I doing this? Cosmos.